Hey, Joe Gilder here from HomestudioCorner.com. Let's talk about opening up a brand new session in Studio One. A few things you want to keep in mind or they can come back to bite you. So from the start page, we click Create New Song, which I use the word session and song interchangeably. That is a leftover from my Pro Tools days. And so you get the new song window here. Now, I don't use any of this stuff. So the styles and interfaces, um, I don't have any of that. Uh, user user templates I use, I don't use the other. So uh, for this, I'm just going to create an empty song blank session because that's what you're going to have available to you if you're a first-time Studio One user. First thing to keep in mind, the first thing you want to make sure you do is select where you want your session to be saved. It defaults when you install Studio One to being installed on your system hard drive. As you've probably heard before, if not, this is me telling you, you need to run your sessions from a separate drive, not your system drive. Most For most computers, that means running it from some sort of a external FireWire or USB hard drive, okay? That way your operating system is on one hard drive and then your sessions and all your audio files are streaming from another one. Here's where you do that. Now you can set the PreSonus folder to be an external hard drive, uh, but I found that doesn't work very well because it stores all your plug-in settings there. And if you fill up your hard drive and move on to another one, you, you lose those or have to copy them over to the new drive. So I just have it. It's a little annoying, but my PreSonus Studio One folder is on my computer. And then I just click on this to select the right hard drive. So I've got a couple of FireWire drives here. We'll select this one, hit enter, change the name. This will be S1 Video Session. And uh, here we're going we're to select a sample rate. I do everything at 44.1. Uh, you can do what you want. 24-bit, better than 16-bit. 32-bit. There's not a lot of interfaces that'll do 32-bit. And then time-based. Is this going to be, are you going to record to a click? Some sort of a metronome? Are you doing any sort of loop-based production or just a basic full band album where everyone's going to be playing along to a click track. Chances are yes. Uh, if so, you probably want to set this to bars. This can be changed when you open up the session, but this essentially sets what the grid and the uh, the bar across the top is set to. Is it showing you minutes or is it showing you bars? Bars is a little more helpful if you're doing everything to a loop. Song length, um, generally I set this to five. If it's longer than that, that's too long. <laughs> I'm kidding, you can have long songs. Uh, and then tempo, if you know the tempo off the bat, it's nice to be able to set it right here, uh, whatever that's going to be. Time signature, same thing. It's nice to set it here than going back and changing it. Now this is a setting right here that I think usually comes default to on in Studio One. I can't remember, but you want to make sure this is off. For me, I don't want to stretch audio files to the tempo of the song. That means, let's say I'm opening up a session to mix an album. Um, so I'm pulling in files that a client sent to me. If I don't know the tempo yet, let's say I'm creating the session now and I'll find out the tempo tomorrow when I get the files. Let's say I just set this to 120. And they send me the files and they say, hey, this song is at 135. You import the songs and you import the files into your session. Then you read the part where it says the BPM is 135. Change the BPM and guess what happens? All the files move with that. Now, if you're doing a lot of loop-based production where you're dragging in loops and they need to conform with the tempo of the song, that's a different thing. And you want that to be stretched out or compressed back down so it fits the tempo of the song. For me, if you're doing a lot of mixing or just straight recording where you're not wanting to do any stretching, I leave this not checked, okay? And those are the main things that I want to just warn you about as you're opening a session. And then it opens up to here, nice, clean, blank slate, and we'll move on from here. Thank you.